Okay, thank you. So this, the purpose of this session is really to go through the stability of parenterals. This is part of the APS Stability Testing 101 course. Uh, my name is Mark Alessandro, and I'll be glad to go through this presentation with you. So in my talk, I'm going to go through the definition of parenteral drug products, talk about some of the unique stability considerations, talk about the climatic zones, and especially those that have the most impact on parenteral drug products, go through some of the government's stability guidances, talk about QBD and design space, and then at the end I'm going to give you a global stability protocol that you could consider using for your parenteral drug products. And I'll give you a list of references. Okay, so first the definition. So if you look at the FDA 21 CFR, uh, they define parenteral drug products as sterile solutions used to administer injections, internal irrigations, or dialysis. And you can have a large volume parenteral, anything at 100 milliliters or more, or a small volume parenteral. 